<laughs> Robin. Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, Opie and Anthony starring little Jimmy Norton. How's everybody this morning? Yeah, hello. What's going on? Yeah, morning. <clears throat> F- fucking E-Rock bringing in chocolate donuts. Uh, uh, yeah. I want to strangle him. I know. Fucking guy. What, you want one, Jimmy? No. Of course. No, no. You want one. But I won't have but one. But you won't have one. Everyone wants one. Right. We all, That's the problem. We all sit down. We're, get, we're getting ready for the big broadcast, and there's a big box of chocolate-covered donuts. Edmund's chocolate donuts. Of course donuts. we want them. What a little love he is. Devil's though. food chocolate donuts. Oh, oh my God. The Bring them in here. Chocolate ones. Br- no, look, no, see, never. I, no, see, I will not. I'm not going to have one. Bring them in. I... I, I after, You're losing bring me. Bring it over. After bring power, it over. I, feel, I, I feel like Charlie Sheen with Coke. Bring yeah. it in. I need to do this. The guy I was in yesterday he talked about the fat burn workout. I did an hour and five minutes of slow walk fat burn. Wow. Good for you. Now have a donut. Okay, give me yeah, one. Yeah, now fuck it no, up I'm with a one donut. Oh, my God. I want one, but oh so, my. so oh, E-Rock, look at look at this. Look at how shiny they are. E Rock comes it. in oh and my plops that down. God. It's open, by the way. Somebody couldn't resist and wait like five minutes. Oh, I <laughs> you just hit the phones with the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the donuts hit the phones. Well, that's gonna be the best phone call of the day, right there. You fucking assholes. <laughs> is anybody having there you a go. donut? A donut is is a better call I than what you guys are gonna give us. Are you having a donut? What? Are you gonna have one? I want, of course I want, I want to have so one. Bad. We all want to have They're one. They're delicious, but there's no fucking way I'm having one of Take them. Take them out, Iraq, or I'll, I'll do something to your donuts that you don't like. <laughs> so I'll, 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 treat, I'll handle your donuts. I will stick my cock in, in one. <laughs> Every hole. No, just one, and then you have to decide oh, if you want to Oh, Russian roulette. Thank you anyway. Donut, Iraq, yeah. <laughs> why would you bring us into your world? Yeah, what are How you How about doing? you live in our world? Yeah. No. A world of suffering. Come on over to this side. It right. sucks. A world of fucking turkey sandwiches and, and, and yeah. oatmeal. And but repressed this side... gay feelings. <laughs> <laughs> this side has yummy Entenmann's cakes and donuts. You yeah. got a point. We also have soft uh, chocolate chip Entenmann's cookies What's in the office. Soft that... bellies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have... It's very impossible yeah, nothing to but soft bellies in here. Work out and... and, and Let me just see the fat contact. Shit. Maybe you can smell it. Didn't, nah, didn't we have Derek Poundstone in here yesterday? Yes, we you did. did. Did we learn anything from Derek Poundstone? Yeah, that sugars are amongst the worst things right. if you're trying to lose weight. Because it rips at your arteries. Because right. it crystallizes, and then it just does all sorts of damage as oh, it pumps through your body. Terrible. The We're, insulin. We have some more Drake's coffee cakes. 300 like calories per donut. That's all right. It's a lot. 300 uh, for just, one fucking just, donut. You just don't eat as much for lunch. That's Calories <laughs> for fat, 160. That's all right. 160 for fat. Yeah, that's great. There's some Hostess cupcakes, too, if you want those. Let me see. Uh, I, I'm not going to do anything, so I just want to read something on the back here, too. Yeah, what's that? Uh, bu- 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 yeah, it's hard not to eat them, though. bad. Carbohydrates. This is just non-food. Yeah, but that's what makes it so fucking good. Serving size one donut. I know. Why couldn't serving size eight? Yeah. 300 calories for eight. Right. That's how they trick you. I'd I love know. to have eight of these. That's how they trick you. If it was one a serving size, yeah, like two, three donuts. Oh, do I want to have a donut? 24 grams of sugar. I know. Sugar. This is what we're dealing with. And I know we sound like a bunch of fucking girls again. Trust me, I know. It's hard not to. But we're trying to keep in shape. This is one donut is fifty five percent of what you should have all day for your saturated fat. That's not bad. So then half. All right, then the re- the rest of the day you got to wa- watch your fat. Broccoli all day long. Celery and, fu- yeah, and dry salad. Water and fucking dry salad. Dry salad with no croutons, obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Eric. Why Why did you think, oh, look, the guys are going to want to enjoy a donut today? It's a cold, snowy day out. It's a, it's Treat not. yourself. It's a shitty, <laughs> Treat yourself. It's a shitty sl- a sleety day. No, that's e inner dialogue. Yeah, That's yeah, what the yeah. inner dialogue says. Ah, it's a cold, snowy day. It's cold, it's Treat snowy. Yourself. It's okay. Treat yourself. You deserve it. Treat you yourself, yourself Eric. Every day? You deserve it, Eric. That's what he's saying to himself. Does food just call out your name? <laughs> certain, <laughs> certain ones, yes. Eric, Eric. It's hard to say, no. Eric, 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 Are those Eric, the donuts Eric, speaking Eric, to me? Eric, Eric. We're delicious, Eric. Eric I eat those 60-calorie snack, well, those little donut, those little uh, puddings. There's 60 calories, but I know there's sugar in them. They're probably not good. But yeah, and it's also yeah. two tablespoons of pudding. They're still pudding. table. They're, 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 they're tiny. No, but they're I good. Say, I need Yay, four of those to fill me pudding. up. Dude, those and some <laughs> fat-free fucking uh, or low-fat whatever Cool Whip. It's better than fucking eating a donut. Yeah, just don't eat a lot of it, which I do. Well, you have to because the serving size is ridiculous. They're so good though. 
Yay pudding. <laughs> yes. you Yay fart. Pudding no. That was one of my favorite bits. I'll do it again. <laughs> and, and it took off on Twitter for a while. Every time you fart, you just fucking tweet, Yay, Yay pudding. Yay pudding. That was, uh, that was a terrific little uh, Twitter bit we did for everybody. <laughs> That's great. By the way, uh, E-Rock getting uh, pressed up in the air by Derek Poundstone. Your, your armpits hurt from yesterday, huh? Yeah, a tiny bit. Good why? You didn't, he did all the work, and no, why are you but, sore if he did all the work? But for like half an hour after, when he got me up, his hand kind of slipped, went into my armpit, and was kind of like pressing through the skin on Digging the side of the in. shoulder. Is it bruised? Actually, I didn't even look. Oh, Don't take God. it. No, please. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, why, why, you know. I, I, oh, Jesus. You got that, like, nah, that's not bruise. You got that yeah. thumbprint bruise? Yeah, a little bit. Thumbprint where gravy started leaking out? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sore under the arm, but for another reason. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's I'll, not nice. A lump or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, but the video's up. It looks pretty good. Derek <laughs> Poundstone lifted you straight up in the air to the, to the uh, drop ceiling. Uh, go to the YouTube channel, OP Radio, if you want to check it out. It's pretty good. Yeah, what is so. what is the fucking fat burn setting when you walk on a elliptical? It's like I usually do cardio where I'm fucking sweating like a pig, and I did an hour and five minutes yesterday, and it's like a very slow. It's slower, but it mm. should be hard. It should be like fucking like trudging. Yeah, fuck that slow shit. I no, think it's you your gotta, heartbeat. It goes I think you got to get your yeah, yeah. It, it, you got to get it at least up to <clears> one twenty. No. This one is like a maximum of 118. It was, it's hard to go that oh, slow. 118. It's like between 100 and 118. Whatever it is, it's like it's so hard to stay that low on the scale. I'll put the treadmill up full incline and very slow speed. So it's just like you're constantly going walking uphill. up a hill and you got to like chug. Yeah. And you wind up, you do sweat, your heart rate goes up, but it's not like uh, you're running on the treadmill. It doesn't get to that but point. But isn't, isn't that, I'm not mean, saying that's not good, but isn't that more like cardio because your heart rate's up? Yes. Yeah, you want, but for fat burning, uh, you want to do that slower uh, heart rate. But for uh, <laughs> for like cardio, you want that fucking bop. You want to fucking be running. Right. More importantly, uh, Spectro in Michigan, one of the regulars, he writes, "You guys and the Egyptians have a pretty tough life." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're you bitching know, about eating a donut. Fucking. And they're donuts. running out of basic supplies in Egypt at this point because asshole won't step down. I'm gonna start tweeting to get a demonstration <laughs> right. together. I'm gonna get a grassroots thing going that we don't want donuts right. here in the studio. I think we can get a million people. Can we talk about asshole? That's his name now. Asshole is a, uh, disrupting everyone's life, including America's. Well, he won't leave. Asshole has to leave. He's oblivious to the fact that he has to leave now. If you're there's not even a chance to, that he could stay. But if you're holding on to power for thirty He's fucking 83. years, three, you ain't leaving that easily. Going to a retirement home with the rest of the uh, the old world leaders, wherever the fuck they go, you ain't. Leaving. What is this asshole thinking every night? He's thinking things are going to turn around. Is he hearing the noise outside the palace? He calls them haters. Oh, They're really? Haters. <laughs> They're just a bunch of haters out there. He's been running a good government, and uh, he's blocking people like a madman. <laughs> yeah, on his Twitter account. Well, there's uh, look, there's a million people out there now, right? Uh, they're supposed to be. And uh, they're still getting the word out, even though they, they knocked down the Internet again. Why did they allow it to come back for a day or two? <laughs> I don't know. Because in that like, day or hey, two, nice guys. they were able to get a lot more info out, right? And a lot more videos. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I think they did that to show, like, all right, look, we'll make some concessions. Now you guys please go home and look at some porno. They thought it would open they're up hoping, the porno thing. They're hoping they would just go yeah, back yeah. to porno. It's like if they got the internet, who's going to want to fucking go outside on the streets? Right. You could play fucking Call of Duty. You could look at porno. You could fucking play uh, Xbox Connect. And could we talk to the Egyptian people for one second? Oh. Stop fucking with your museums. That's the only reason that you, uh, people go there. That is a dumb thing to do. You know how much money museums. you know how much money you get from tourism. What are you doing? Are they still fucking with the museums? Well, they uh, what did they uh, they formed a human chain around uh, a few of the museums. Yeah, that yeah. was the other day to protect them. The two yeah. mummies got fucked up, but that was all. What are you doing? That's the only that reason the we daddies. go there. <laughs> You know they got to <laughs> they got to protect their livelihood, which yes. is which is uh, you know of course tourism and uh, and that other thing. Egyptian I, th I think sheets or something. It's an <laughs> Egyptian tourism is all about their old fucking uh, yeah, right. Uh, their old shit. Yeah, they should be really pissed at the people that are like mm. you know trying to loot the museums. Yeah, it's like, just the they, dumbest yeah. thing ever. <clears throat> I think they are, which is good, but. Yeah, you can't be fucking busting up your old shit. You have 30 seconds to come and get these. Uh-oh. 29. 
<laughs> Jimmy's pulling his cock out. He's going to... Th- you have 30 seconds. He's going to put his dick on one donut. 30, 30 seconds, seconds to get him. To get the donuts. He's going to put his dick on one donut and then put it back in the box. You don't care. Enjoy him. Yeah, oh. yeah just oh, do it. Jesus. He, oh, no. <laughs> All right, Jimmy's putting his dick on one donut. <laughs> All right, and now it's back in. He's mixing them up. He's playing some three card Monty with he just the, did the three with card the Monty with donuts. The, the donuts. Now there is a donut in there that Jimmy has put his dick through the hole, and he doesn't and, even know which and one. He it doesn't is. know which one it is. Now he's putting it back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dan. <laughs> what is he doing now? <laughs> oh, he, put a, he put a donut up his ass and held it in his butt crack. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, and now they're back out on the ship. If I see someone eating a donut, I'm gonna shit myself. Travis was suggesting maybe we should see if Derek wants a donut. <laughs> he he want the one with Jimmy's dick through yeah, it. He he would enjoy that. There's cameras all over. I had to be very careful there. Yeah. I thought about just grabbing one and just taking a big bite out of it just to get the laugh. But I don't know. I don't know. That camera almost got you right there. Well, I was right here. There are so many cameras in this joint. Yes. I don't know why. That's I don't know what's great. so important in this place. It's like a prison. Anyway, uh, you know, you got the whole Middle East uh, kind of changing. Yeah. And uh, Matt Lauer was all over it yesterday. You want to hear what he had to say? Yeah, because this he's a, is he's a, ter- he's a terrific interviewer. And this is world changing right here. This, uh, right, it's one of these world history events, right? That will be in um, uh, taught in history classes and all right uh, for 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 years. This yeah. is a big deal. So it's nice to see Matt Lauer hitting some. Uh, well, he's one of our great. And- he's one of our great interviewers. He really is. So he, he he's on top of it yesterday, yeah. as they Very prepared cool. for their million man march today. This is Matt Lauer and what he had to say. All right, Justin. Good morning. Great to have you back. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's nice to have you here. So so I watched this with my two older kids really? yesterday, and and I'm going to tell you something. I was very surprised. I liked it a lot. Thank you. And also, you have worked so hard yeah. over the past year or year and a half to get to this level of success. Is that why you wanted to make the movie, to, to show people what you've been through? Um, not just that I've been working hard, but just like, just show what I've, what I've been going through the past two years and how much it really takes out of you. And, and it takes a it's lot just, out of you. Out of all of it, it's just been so much fun just being able to live my dreams and just, it's, it's been amazing. You, uh, what, what has he got uh, been going through the last two years? Oh, oh, be stopped now. Wherever Come he on. goes, you this got girls guy. yelling and screaming, tr- ripping at your clothes. He probably You're making his dick 30 dollars. times a day. It's got to be difficult. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, really. Cleaning uh, errant vagina off your penis. But how tough is his life? What is he talking about? It's not tough. Look at Egypt. You know, he, That's pretty tough. He lucked out. Yeah, Jeez. is he that talented? I mean, no. we're probably too old to you know officially say, but, I've, I've but heard... we've seen this play out many times in the past with other, with other young stars, He's young, not a good young singer. music stars. He's not a good singer. He's just not. You know, I'll give a kid credit if they could fucking belt one out, but this kid sucks. Done by twenty, right? We've yeah. seen this happen so many times. Once Done by twenty. Once his little boyish looks go away, and because I mean, look, look at his audience, dude. His audience isn't fucking guys in their 20s and, and, and even w- women that would, uh, you know, hey, let's see what the next Justin Bieber thing. They're girls that are just going to grow out of him. Right. And once he gets older and uh, creepier. Yeah, that's the problem with having young fans. to get girls. The only, difference <laughs> with, like, <laughs> the only difference with like guys like him and Leif Garrett and stuff is the internet now has, it, it's almost like, like back then it was Tiger Beat, Team Beat Magazine. Mm-hmm. It put you in it, and when they stopped putting you in it, you weren't attractive anymore. But yeah. I think it's easier to stay alive for a little longer I now. I don't because know about that. that. I, I think they get distracted quicker because then Maybe. now these young girls go, wait, now there's this other guy or this other thing, and, and they blow you off within seconds. Once they get older and lose that fucking, because he's got the charm that like the little girls like and, right. and shit like that, uh, and the looks. Once he starts growing a fucking beard, it's over. What about when the young girls start growing up and all of a sudden decide, you know, they're yeah, into like, some Ew. other shit? I ain't into this little fucking douchebag uh, anymore. I'm into fucking snorting coke and right. fucking Charlie Sheen. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then one day they just rip the poster off their wall yeah, and yeah, they, the they move on. Off the wall and Both sides move on. That's it. 
But this is Matt Lauer, you know, uh, of MTV fame, of course. We learned that yesterday. Yes, yes, from Rich <laughs> Voss. We learned that Matt Lauer was on MTV. We, we can't find any record of it. But Rich told us. So Matt Lauer of MTV fame. Uh, Egypt is just falling apart, and they, they needed to do their Justin Bieber interview yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It, it continued with this. You've got this voice that makes especially the young girls swoon. Are you worried about your voice changing? You're 16. No, I mean, my voice is definitely changing gradually. It's, it's definitely lower than it was last time I, I was with you, right? You so you, it is. Are you, are, you, are you worried you're going to go through that awkward stage that I remember I went through? Yeah. Or? Uh, I think that everybody's voice changes, and it's just how you go through it. Um, there's a lot of people who've gone through it gradually, and there's some people that haven't, but I have a great vocal coach, and it's helping me. And, um, one, of the fa one of my favorite parts about this, this movie is it is 3D, and, and you know, everything <laughs> looks better in 3D, especially, oh my gosh. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, you look, oh no, my gosh. No, now you're a lie. Dimples, now you're lying. Those dimples Shut look man. amazing. No, no, those aren't dimples, those are wrinkles. Oh, those are, no, a big no. difference. God, just this, kiss them. This is oh, embarrassing. God, this is fucking good. embarrassing. You realize world history is being made and changed and yeah, he, minute uh, to minute. and He has an okay voice. It's nothing special. And the, and the songs are nothing special. They're just, no. they're just poppy songs. He's very overproduced because he's, uh, he can't sing. He's not a good singer. Right. He's really not. And um, it's, it's a pop idol thing. Come on. How many of these? What happened to fucking Hanson? Where's Hanson? <laughs> Where's fucking uh, uh, the Nick Carter that was the little kid Nick Carter, not, you know, the DJ? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was just in the news for something. What, 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 something, something bad? Something shitty. Yeah, yeah. something bad. Yeah, I'll, something I'll shitty. It. Exactly. Like, they, these... All these, these are, guys end up being in the news for something shitty. These are all guys that were fucking, you know... Aaron they were Carter. huge. Aaron oh, Carter. Yeah. Aaron Carter, that's Aaron right. Aaron Carter, right. He was a big yeah. fucking deal. Going to rehab Chicks loved him. Now he's seeking treatment for emotional and spiritual issues. <laughs> the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm emotional and spiritual issue is that young girls don't want to fuck me anymore. <laughs> that's his... <laughs> and, and probably the drugs were too good, and now he's trying to figure out how to get away from his addiction. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a young picture of him. That's when the chicks all loved him. And, and now, now look at him. You there, think, there you go, Bieber. Yeah, there Who's you go, Carter? Bieber. Who is he? That's uh, Nick Carter's younger brother. Younger brother who Aaron was Aaron Carter. Not as big as Bieber, but he he, he had his he day. He had his day. He had his he moment. He was doing okay. When he looked like that. And now all the 14-year-old girls. There you go. Then, look, you think, you think like fucking 14-year-old girls. And, maybe with daddy issues. And but, he's not even that old in that picture. No. How many years ago was he popping? I don't even remember him. Nick? I mean, uh, Aaron? I don't know. It goes back a... Had to be like six years six ago. seven years ago. I'm, I'm looking right there. He has chosen to enter a facility. A That's facility. That's like the first thing I read, of course. They were yeah. his wife at rehab. That's, uh, and, uh, why don't you go, let, let's do the Leaf Garrett now, because that's classic. Leaf Garrett is a I, classic. I watched uh, Celebrity Rehab, uh, and they don't explain why his face is so fucked up with burns. It's and fucking... I, and you can't find the info on the internet. It's meth. Is it burns yeah. or is it pigmentation? I think he has that meth fucking... It, it looks like it's burnt to shit, man. It looks like he had a rough night. He was laid with his big Farrah there Fawcett you go. hairdo. This guy, back in his time, man, was... No one was bigger. He was for a the, while. Uh, he was the teen idol of the seventies. Right. And now, none. now, and now, that's not bar even a recent none. picture. But that's <laughs> <laughs> like, man. Oh, that's good. There's one with him in an orange jumpsuit. That can't be good. <laughs> man, <laughs> if you're wearing an orange jumpsuit, some bad that's shit has good. happened to you. Come on. Wow. Wow, he looks bad. Uh, you gotta try to find a, a recent picture, because these, even though he looks bad in these pictures, his face is still intact. His face is so fucked up and scarred up. Do you think he's losing his hair? Because he has the headband. Oh, yeah, oh, his God, hair is gone. completely gone, man. That that lovely, oh, there, lovely blonde And someone locks. even did it for us. The Justin Bieber, Leaf Garrett. Uh, go right to the middle. Two oh, over. yeah, look at that. See? See, this is, th that's <laughs> that's Justin Bieber's future. They have uh, Justin Bieber, and then on the right side, Leaf Garrett in, oh, in another jumpsuit. Terrible. This this one is, an, is a nice, like... Uh, it's a blue. It's a blue. It's a nice it's a little blue. blue. He's standing in front of that wall. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, that's just... Uh, I can't think of one pop... Star that what do you do? That did okay after his fame was done. What do you do? Like even Donny Don Wahlberg uh, was older when he was in New Kids, so it wasn't like he was a. a and he turned a, into a good a actor, kid. right? And then he went into acting. I think he's way better than Mark Wahlberg at acting. What has he done? He did six he cents. Takes, yeah, he takes. Uh, he takes on roles. these weird roles. Not he was weird, great but in Band of Brothers. He, yep. was, he had a big part in Band of Brothers. Oh, okay. He was really good. I think uh, he's. I think he's a better actor than Mark. 
I really do. I I, I still I still have roles. a problem with the fighter just because Mark Wahlberg was in it, and he was a producer in that movie. He should have just fucking yeah. sat back and let someone else do that role, because Christian Bell just acted his ass off around him. He, he was amazing. Just kicked yeah. his ass. He was amazing in watching. Uh, in Boogie Nights. When he's good, he's oh, amazing. Yeah, he was yeah. good at Boogie Nights. But yeah, he does some things I don't think he's great in. He takes me out of movies. I don't know. Yeah. He's too Hollywood or something. Too yeah. polished. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. I like Like Christian movies. Bell, you, in The Fighter, once again, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll say this, the opening scene, he's on this couch and you're like, oh my God, that's... Wait, that's that Christian, Christian Bell. Bell. Holy shit. But when Mark Wahlberg, you know, popped on... Oh, Mark Wahlberg. It wasn't even a doubt. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Finally, Matt Lauer <laughs> really breaks it down and gets to the bottom of things with Justin Bieber as, the, as right. Egypt falls Good. apart. Finally. There's a rumor going around you may cut your hair. Is that true? No, well, actually, like, I'm just, like, <laughs> oh, messing, messing it up a lot. Like, before, usually I had it just, like, flat, like, everything, just regular shape. But, like, I'm just messing it up now. All right, so it's not, you're just not going to shave it, it off like no, me or anything like that. No, no. Calm down, everybody. Matt Justin is, Bieber's not cutting not his hair. Not just hanging with Justin Bieber. He's swooning. He, he is. is swooning. He is. He's got. He's, he's got the smitten. big interview. He's smitten with little Justin Bieber. And finally, uh, one more. A girl I with Justin Bieber. That <laughs> <laughs> kid's hysterical. A girl with Bieber fever comes in and asks a dumb question. Of course. A lot of these young ladies. Oh my gosh, you're 3D. <laughs> oh my god. I've been gathered here since seven o'clock last night. Oh my god. I love you. One of those young ladies actually, we asked to come in the studio. No, really. Is it Melissa? Is it? Is that your name, Melissa? Melissa. Oh, how are you? Oh. We we plucked her from the oh, crowd because she cry. would like to ask you. A, first of all, Melissa, where are you from? Me? Yeah. Like nationality? Me. No, just oh, where do you uh, live? New York. Yeah. You live in New York, yeah. okay? And how long have you been a Justin Bieber fan? A long time. A long time. Oh. I've waited for this moment so long. Have you seen him in concert? Yeah. See, that says a lot right there. A long time. Bieber's been around, what, six months? She <laughs> thinks it's like a, a long time to her is a year. Right, she's exactly. Fucking, she's a kid. That's what's scary. We've been at it, what, 16 years. Yeah. Justin Bieber's not going to be doing this uh, 16 years from now. Do you think it'd be creepy if he had brought me in as the fan? <laughs> <laughs> and I just couldn't talk. Ha. <laughs> Jim Norton. I just think you're the greatest. <laughs> See, that would be funny. I yeah. watch something like that. Yeah. Why be so predictable all the time? They bring that fucking. This moment so in. long. Have you seen him in concert? Yeah. You have. Yeah. What's it like to see him this close, though? Uh, really good. Yes. Uh, Do you have a question you'd like yeah. to ask him? I want you to have these. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what do you miss about balls. being a normal mm -hmm. kid? What do I miss about being a normal kid? Nothing. Um, I miss Nothing. being able to just like go home and just relax and just be no, with my family you don't. and just like, not do anything for like a while. Holy shit, that is such bullshit. No, you don't. What is he, 15? 16. 16. If you were a multi-millionaire at 16, you wouldn't miss anything. When, when the, the door opens up, you just hear girls screaming like yeah. they're being fucking raped. <laughs> right. That was, <laughs> did you hear that screaming going yeah. on? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just want to go home and hang out with my family. Shut up, you liar. Do you think the screaming matches up with what Bieber's thinking? Because Bieber's, Bieber's all oh, man. I don't he, fucking he's, know what's he's all going man. on there. So he's thinking, man, I, I could get my dick in a lot of these girls. Oh. But most of the girls are thinking, that's not wh why we're screaming. No. It doesn't match up. Play a little bit of that fucking kid yeah. freaking out. It's so fucking funny. The little girl freaking she's out. really young, right? Yeah. 19 million views. Holy Cody's shit. Cody's very sad today. Cody, why are you so sad, honey? Because. Because why? Because I love Justin Bieber. I can't hear you. Because I love Justin Bieber. You're crying because you love Justin Bieber? Yes, I ran in my room. You ran in your room and cried because you love him? Yeah. Does that make you sad? Yes. Why does it? I don't it... get to see Justin Bieber all day. Because you don't get to see him all day? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you love Justin Bieber? Because I know he loves me back. Because you know he loves you back. Uh, yeah. Uncle Bieber. Uh, <laughs> Honey. This kid's insane. We don't have to cry because we love Justin Bieber. Yeah, we do. Sometimes. <laughs> the sister is so cute. Uh, uh, the sister's hot. Uh, well, what makes you cry? Justin Bieber always makes me cry. What is Songs. He always makes you cry with his song? Yes! That kid needs a smack. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. This is probably well, watched by the same three cry? fat women because six million times a piece. 
<laughs> How does a Honey, kid get this fucked you up? You do know you're only three years old, right? Yes, mommy, I do. <laughs> well, when you're three, you're not supposed to cry over boys. You think I, I know, but mom doesn't give <laughs> They're all laughing at her, too. Uh -huh. You gotta laugh. You do. Well, what do you want Justin Bieber to do? Fuck me. Yeah. Curb it by no, hair. You want him to be one of your family? family. Yeah. Can you pause that for a second? She wants him to be one of her family. Now, now you play it out in the three year old's yeah, right, right. head. Yeah. Like, what does she think having Justin Bieber in her life means? That he would play with her and stuff. Like, what? Like, play fucking Barbies and shit. And, and let him sing to her and say, I and love you. Sing, yeah. And be like, oh, and, you know, everything that, like, her sister's doing, like, kind of hold her and, like, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. That's like being married to a three year old. <laughs> right, exactly. That's like. That's hardcore sex for a three year old. That's total fucking hardcore, like, <laughs> right, crazy right. sex for a three year old. It's like Justin Bieber's playing with his her dolls with it. I, I always And loved, like buying her candy. I always loved that bit. <laughs> like, she doesn't true. know that Justin Bieber might leave horrible, watery shits in the toilet. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. she, she never thought about that or if his fucking breath stinks. No. <laughs> right. Or he cuts and, a lot of gassers. And was it uh, Jimmy Kimmel that. Uh, Brought Bieber on the show and then brought this girl on and met met them in the uh, I think so. in the dressing room. That, yeah. See, that's why he's fucking smart. I know, that's... Kimmel does all the shit that none of the other shows do. Like if, yeah, cause if you look at that, you would think, all right, let's get this fucking kid and Justin yeah. Bieber in the same room, and Kimmel, you know, can make it. Well, the younger guys are definitely doing that. Fallon does a lot of that. That's stuff, really too. smart. Yeah. Uh, let's hit that. Let's hit that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl. I swear, if he sees this and he comes, she will be my favorite sister forever. <laughs> this is wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah. Keep Honey, well, what happened when they uh, when she met him? Boys. I don't Mommy, I just love boys. She was very happy. They all make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, have you ever seen Cheyenne cry over Justin Bieber? <laughs> Sometimes I do. Hello? <laughs> okay, honey. We, we should mind. stop crying. Do you want to go listen to some of his songs? Will that make oh, you feel better? Good. No. Of course it will. That make me cry again. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kid starts singing some Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, I think it's, the, it's the mother. It's the mother, the sick mother. <laughs> Just yeah. taunting the kid. That's good. She's three and she's got anxiety issues. Yeah, she's already got anxiety shit going on. The best will be when she gets a older, gets a boyfriend, and they play this. You're like, look at what kind of a lunatic your girlfriend is. They're all singing to her. This whole family stinks. Okay, Cody. Kid included. Listen. Stop crying for a second and listen. Oh, really? You just Stop. made her yeah, cry by singing to her. If you cry like this when you listen to Justin Bieber's songs, mommy's not going to let you listen to Justin oh, Bieber's songs good. no more. Yeah, I she's not going to cry. You don't want to. <laughs> don't it makes want you to. too sad. <laughs> <laughs> she's hysterical okay. crying. I'm going to turn the video camera off now. No. You don't want me to? You want me to keep recording you? Yes. Well, all you're doing is crying about Justin Bieber. Boo! She actually went boo. I'm a bit that Justin Bieber. And now the lunatic's laughing. Pause this for one second. Now the lunatic's laughing. Honestly. Tell you, am I the only one with a raging heart on? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's that's about it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. She started. <laughs> oh my things. god. Yeah. There you go. So, Justin <clears throat> Bieber. Everyone loves the Beeb. Oh, uh, you bring in the embarrassing tape. People are asking. Of course not. Huh. I got fucking. I don't know what. I, I, you know what? Right now, again. I'll text Joe Curry. He's the only guy that's got it. Your brother doesn't have it? Nope. Oh, you asked him? He doesn't have it? No, yep. 
Oh, wow. And uh, he doesn't have it. Uh, Joe Curry does have a copy on cassette tape. That will uh, make it better. And right now I'm texting that motherfucker. Yo, Curry, you motherfucker. Where you at? Joe Curry. There it is. And I need my awful song tape. There you go. Thanks. I put thanks. I wanted to, you know. There, send. There it is. There you go. All sent. All right. Hey, uh, so we just saw that video. Oh, it's pushing 20 million views. Jesus. Thanks to the internet. Doing yeah. a little seg here. Uh, have you seen the video of uh, the Today Show talking about the internet yet? Oh, I uh, this heard. This is starting tell to go viral, this. man. Yeah, I heard tell about from this. from '94, right? '94. That's, that's yesterday. '94. Let me yesterday. think now. We, as far as the internet goes, in '94, very fucking new. Because I kind of remember '95 as being the the year, right? The year. Uh, I remember '94. I was at BAB, and they started talking about. All the stuff you could do on the internet. Yeah, and the the first thing someone told me is like, like you could you could look up Jimmy Buffett lyrics. Oh yeah, I, I never forgot that. Wow, like, which which was now you you could you know you take that for granted, but think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a song or something. You could look up the lyrics to songs, and oh, that's I how was they on CompuServe in the eighties. So I was a pioneer. You were doing the internet in the eighties. Oh 80s? yeah, yeah, internet in the eighties. No, CompuServe. Three, that's almost impossible. Three hundred baud modem. It's great. I remember you, we sort of had like like uh, the internet at college, but it was like I think yeah. it was just within the campus. If I'm right, I'm thinking like uh, 88, 89. You were interneting in eighty eight on a uh, on a, a Commodore uh, sixty four. Um, Who were you talking to? I, I was going to these bulletin board Other services, pedos. and yeah, <laughs> you know when it was safe, <laughs> and uh, there were like trivia games you could log into, and there'd be a trivia question, and you'd have to type. Oh, I remember that stuff. Yeah, uh, shit, real well, could quick. Could you chat with other people? Uh, kinda or you were kind of you were kind of just yeah. I was just playing like uh, trivia text trivia games right with people no graphics or anything like right, that. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you were doing the internet in the late eighties. Well. Yeah. Uh, the Today Show didn't know what the internet was in 1994. Wow. Good old Bryant Gumbel. Bryant Gumbel. Okay. Who well, I see in the elevator uh, quite often. Oh, Mr. Yeah? Mr. Gumbel. Bryant Gumbel. And uh, Katie Couric. Katie Couric. Talking about the internet. 94. I wasn't prepared to translate that as I was doing that little tease. Oh, that's that little mark. That sucks is the only audio we got, huh? 94 was so long ago that that's the only audio there is? Yeah. Oh, well. With the A and then the ring around it. At. See, that's what I said. So they're talking about the oh, no. the A with the little ring around it. Yeah, it's so weird to is, hear this. Which now is probably the most commonly used key on a fucking sure. keyboard. Uh, and it used to just be for accountants. Right. You sold 360 units at $100. Right. That's pretty much all it was used and, for. And now it's the most popular key, like you just yeah. said. <laughs> Most recognizable symbol, oh, in, yeah, probably in the world. It means the internet. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to translate that as I was doing that little tease. Oh, that little right. mark with the A and then the ring around it. At see, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. um, Case if she thought it was about. Yeah. Oh. But I've never heard or it. Around I've never heard it about said. About I'd about always say the mark, but never yeah. heard it said. And then yeah. it sounded stupid when I said it. Violence at NBC. <laughs> Yeah, I heard he around or about in the lunchroom. See, there it is. Violence at NBC. G-E-com. I mean... G-E-com. G-E-com. They didn't even acknowledge like, the dot. No dot. He's like, what does this mean? G-E-com. He had no idea what the fuck was going on there. Wow. The Remember? at, he goes, it just sounded weird saying, you know, violence at NBC. Yeah, he... he, he you know what's creepy is this is when... Our history started. We started in 94. Yeah, yeah. So we started when the internet really wasn't happening. No, it and now just look, started look kicking up. And now look where up. we are today. Oh, my God. Craziness. A, a show in uh, shambles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're all online. <laughs> Fuck you, Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Al Gore talking about the information superhighway? Yeah, and it, but, it's, it's, but it's, it's annoying. But I got to give credit where it's due. Those fuckers were right, man. It, it is. I, I cannot believe how it's like I cannot picture living without it now. Yeah, and, oh, no, you can't. And people didn't really take it seriously at first. They're like, oh, this silly thing yeah. that some people are doing. Yeah. I think Napster and that really helped a lot. Like, when people realize you can just go out and grab free shit, like, 
that got everybody interested. Like, that's what got me on. It was like, yeah. I can just go out and get fucking Metallica right. songs and Sabbath, and right. like, I couldn't believe it. You had to say Metallica. Why not? Somewhere Lars is oh. fucking stomping hey. his foot real hard. But you know what I mean? It's like that. That to me was the, one of the one of the most attractive things about oh, it in the that's, beginning. That's NBC's first web page. Uh, uh, first archived, archived web page. Uh, so, uh, so it's ninety six. Yeah, I think they didn't. I wow. think that project didn't start. Where are the graphics? <laughs> it's not yeah. very good. Hey, wait a minute. Where's, Where's the, the video? Graphics? Where's the video? It's optimized for Internet Explorer. Uh, <laughs> ah, There's more of that. Bryant Gumble and Katie Couric from '94. <laughs> And they call it, what is internet? What is internet? Not the I internet. do not know internet. What is internet? That's only 94. Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network. The one that's becoming really big now. <laughs> what do you mean? That's big? What, how does one, no, what do you write to it? Like mail? No, a lot of people use <laughs> This is so weird. Wow, this is fucked up to hear. It's weird because it's only 94. And it's such second nature now, you kind of forget that we didn't have it at some point sure and we did have a learning curve like you you think i remember the times where there was no internet but then i would remember when there was internet mm. i don't remember that time when it was like you were going what yeah. is this remember we what would fuck is it? how do you send mail why i remember when we first started promoting every time we'd have to say http yeah. uh you want the address http colon right. uh, slash, slash slash no backslash backslash uh, uh, uh www <laughs> <laughs> dot <laughs> now you just say you know whatever dot com sure ah whatever what do you write to it like mail no a lot of people use it and communicate it i guess they can communicate with nbc writers and producers allison can you explain what internet is <laughs> no she can't say anything in 10 seconds or less uh, <laughs> can you explain what internet is what is internet what is internet must learn of internet and then the That's off crazy the off camera staff explains what the, what the internet is what the internet or is. what internet is Allison will be in the studio shortly what does it mean it's a giant computer network made up made up of uh, started from oh I thought you were going to tell us what this was it's like a, look a at computer the billboard it's, it's not a it's it, it's it's a computer billboard but it's made right. online it's, it's several uh, universities and everything all joined together right and, and others can access it and, right and it's getting bigger and bigger all the time it came in really handy during the quake. A lot of people, that's how they were communicating out to tell family and loved ones they were okay because all the phone lines were down. I was telling Katie you know, but you don't need you don't need that you don't need a phone line to operate no. internet. No. <laughs> and you to operate internet? I love how she's just saying internet. So you don't need a phone line to operate internet? That's what's great about all this stuff. Someone just had this and, and <gasps> uploaded it went, Oh my god, they're talking about internet. Shit, internet. I was doing gigs. I was four years into comedy. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, it's not that long ago. I bet there's a... Relatively speaking. Jesus. Yeah. Those girls are now 30. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> at least. Jesus Christ. We're looking at our old uh, website. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God. From 01. Wow. Right before 9-11. There's already a Sandy Kane retrospective on, in 2001. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, we really? thought she was going to be dead. Wow, the nerds were playing at the Stone Pony for our road show. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Nikki, we deliver keggers. Yeah. Pictures of Sandy Kane. Pictures of you. <laughs> yeah, this twato. That's, that picture is t 10 years old? The twato, twato picture is, is 10, 10 years, years old. old. Hold, look at Sandy from 10 years ago. She looks exactly the same. She probably she looks fucking, better now. She is a vampire. Right. She is truly a vampire. Oh my god. Uh, wow, that is fucked up to look at from 10 years ago. Sandy's a mess. Can you, um. Sports guys, Don and Mike, Ron and Fez, Ron and Paul. Oh, it was ronandfez.com Ron was the name of the show back yeah, then. That's right. Ronandfez.com. They talked about internet they every night. They talked about internet. That was like their big <laughs> that thing. That was their thing. Internet. Was like, they well, would have guests from internet. Yeah, it was all about internet. Wow, that's fucking a long time. And then they started like talking about other shit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, this uh, runafest.com thing don't make much sense. Yeah, because now everybody's into internet. Yeah, they were like cutting edge. It was, you know, it was dot cutting com. edge. You name your show dot com. Can you link that to me? Uh, I'm gonna tweet that. What is it? Our it's our uh, oldest web page. It's basically the uh, the WNEW page from ten years ago. Yeah. And what about the other thing they did at NEW where they w used the uh, ampersand? 
where it was like um, at 1027. What was the fucking, when they changed format, kind of, and they didn't uh, go from WNEW? What was it called? Oh, FM Talk. At, FM Talk at 1027. At 1027. And they had the Whoa. at. Because that at is, you know, that, that says the future, and we're on top of yeah, things. Yeah, we were on top so of it, So it was like, man. yeah. We were FM all about talk internet. at 1027. That really Ew. fucking lasted long. Oh, the message, the New York radio message boy went crazy. Oh, you're retiring classic call letters. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up. How about these call letters? F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. Yeah. D-I-E, and however you spell already. <laughs> What a bunch of nerds. Classic oh. call letters. They were big Get when the internet was uh, just <laughs> kicking up uh, yeah, on radio. Yeah, yeah. What, my uh, New York Radio message board? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking hideous. Now it's just, there's nothing there. No one cares anymore. Again, message boards are kind of... How come of... these things, how come we never did any of these things? We should do, do, we should be doing these things. Yeah. It says, coming soon to the Opie and Anthony show. This is 10 years ago. Teen car wash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, can we do that? Yes, of Best course. body of the Opie and Anthony show. I think we contest. did that. Yeah, well, we let's did do that. it again. What Most the fuck? offensive song we did. Let's do that. Uh, no, we didn't, because it's the most offensive song contest, too. Oh, that was shut down. Second annual ONA down. Celebrity Softball Game? That, that never happened. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, wait, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. did. The second one? Oh, yeah. yeah, we did. All right, two. well, the third one. We Panty Palooza. I don't Panty even know what Palooza. that is. I want to be a part of it. I want Panty Palooza. <laughs> and the teen <laughs> pool party. Hot fun in the summertime. <laughs> 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 we have how many teen things do we have? Well, <laughs> we came up with the fact that everything sounds better when you put teen Yeah, in, when you put teen in front, front of it. So we would put teen in front of everything, and people would be like, yeah. Yeah, we gotta fucking see that. Teen chaos in Egypt. Yes, see, teen how, chaos. see how beautiful that works. It's great. What's the wow. uh, what's the MILF contest winners? I guess that's uh yeah. MILF. We did do MILF, right? We did. Winner gets five days, four nights at the Sands Beach Club in Myrtle Beach, Jesus. South Carolina. This is when oh, Spirit pictures. Airlines. This is when the company took care of you and actually gave you real stuff to give away. God Damn. boy, have times changed. Oh, remember what's the this? Opie and Anthony Wall of Fame? I don't even know. No, no, I, down, buddy, down. Right, the last one. Uh, that's probably the a bunch of uh, shots. Right? Probably uh, right there. Yeah, it's yeah. just probably pictures of all the famous people. The that rest came in. of. Yeah, Billy, Billy Idol, Idol, Cindy Williams, the Naked Cowboy oh, from Jesus. ten years ago. Wow, wow. Little Stevie's tumor. What the fuck is that? God, Garrett Morris. Can you remember click that? on Little Stevie's tumor? What is that? I don't remember. Garrett that. Morris was fucking ten years ago. Oh, oh. oh that's well, I can't that doesn't pop oh, up. Some, some pages aren't. Some They're pages not aren't archived. It's anyway. not like, you know. Internet you... goes away. Yeah. That server <laughs> is not on internet. <laughs> Whatever got archived got archived. Some yeah. Stuff didn't, I yeah. Uh, Ken and the Big Pan. Uh, oh, that was. That's when we refused to sign a contract and he just kept coming in every day. With a giant pen. With a giant pen. He thought that would make a sign. <laughs> that was 10 years ago? Yep. Dude, where did 10 <laughs> years go? This is Garrett crazy. Morris. Garrett fucking Morris. Jay Moore was in that day, I remember. Oh, Sandy? Sandy Kane's on his lap. <laughs> There's Jimmy. Is that Jimmy? Go down. Yeah. Let's see Jimmy from. Look at you, Jimmy. Look the same, except you're fatter and older. You're, you're a little fresh faced boy. Well, we all look the same, look except Jay fatter Moore. and older. Holy shit. Jay Moore looks a lot younger in that picture. He sure does. Wow. He sure does. Yeah. Send me this link. I got to tweet this for the, for the people out there. Anthony's Triple. desk. Anthony's desk. Oh, that was my desk in the, in the office. Oh God! Look at this. Uh, it's oh, it's because it's probably archaic shit. Yeah, Big some of the links don't work anymore. Obviously, CRT monitors. People haven't clicked on these links in years. One-legged boxing. We did, did one-legged boxing. I don't remember doing one-legged boxing. I know we did blind boxing. Oh. Blind boxing is one of my favorite bits of all time. Oh look! It's oh two look! We found with two guys legs. with. How the fuck <laughs> we find two guys that? with one leg? <laughs> ah, and they and they just boxed. Jim and Woody uh, with one leg each. Well, two legs between the two of them. And see, this is why this, this, the guys down the hall have got to understand. This is what we remember. Yeah. That's why we bitch so much, because we can't even come close to one-legged boxing anymore. No. These guys came in, <laughs> one leg each. Young Garrett. Right. Young Garrett. One leg each, and then right outside the studio, they beat the shit out of each other. Bouncing up and down on one leg like right. that fucking... <laughs> there were bruised ribs, all sorts of injuries. Like right. the guy from Platoon. <laughs> Hot 97 ruined all that for you guys with, yeah, this, with the slap fighting. Slap, yeah. slap fighting. But this is what wow. we remember, and that's why we bitch so loudly, because we, we can't even come close to doing any of this no. stuff. No. Damn it. All right, I'll uh, socks. Danny sent that to me. I yeah, got yeah, yeah. I got to tweet that so you guys can There's check it out. There's some great shit on there. Some old school shit. Scott, let's see. Scott. Anything else worth looking little, at? Little girl wearing shorts. <laughs> this is like fucking shit. 
Steve C, uh, hit that Ultimate Fighter. This is when Steve C took on um, Tito Ortiz. Yeah, Tito. That was fucking ten years ago. Yep. And Steve was giant. And and we told Tito not to hold back, and Steve was into it. See how long Steve could last with an Ultimate Fighter when no one was talking about Ultimate Fighter. Nah, to be honest this with you, like the beginning. All oh, those pictures aren't happening. Uh, some of them. Work. Some of them yeah, might work. I'll, I'll, I'll try them all. And Steve fucking Steve tried his best against Tito Ortiz. Lasted seconds, but it was. I think that was Tito's last win. <laughs> yeah, but but once again. Like, no one stopped us right outside the nope. studio where you had this space, and, and Tito, you know, he didn't hold back. No. Nah, Look at Ronnie holding the mic. Ronnie was helping Ronnie out. Ronnie doing some time on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, Ronnie B. Good old Ronnie B. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's me in the old days. Ten years back. <sighs> wow. Fucked up. God, that was so... It doesn't seem that long ago. Uh, it seems like a lifetime. There's a picture of Tito on top of Steve's on his hands and, and knees. There's Fezzi in the background, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to love the crossovers that sometimes would never end. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would stay for Ron and Fez's show and then hang out for Eddie Trunk's show on the weekend. Oh, my God, yeah. I'd just be there for the whole fucking night. Would you be drinking? Oh, oh hell yes. <laughs> During our show. <laughs> that was one fun thing about afternoons. Oh, you yeah. have to get up later and not the work. Why am I explaining the advantage that we it all get? It was great. I right. just explain that you have to get up later for afternoons. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> As opposed to earlier for mornings, Jim? Yeah, kind of. Oh, literal everybody. <laughs> There's a young Garrett. Uh, oh, The Office. Yeah. May of 2001. Wow, Look at all nice. the booze oh, on our windowsill. Yeah, that was our bar. Holy shit. It's all just liquor. That's where the hard liquor was. Cause then Can you we had, imagine loading up our office with booze now and, and, and then, actually drinking it? And, and, and then we had the open. There'd be a problem. And then the, the refrigerators that are just filled with shit. <laughs> we had we had a, one fridge, um, and it got filled up. It was supposed to be the food fridge, and it got filled up with beer. Mm -hmm. So we decided to get another fridge for food. Mm -hmm. And like two weeks later, it was full of beer. Well, I, <laughs> Look at all the cases of Sam Adams. The bushes. They would uh, they would have deliveries to our office. That's how fucked up it was. Sam yeah. Adams would deliver, I forgot, like five cases a week or something. Yeah, there'd be a it fucking was, guy who'd come up with a hand truck and just fucking... Yep, and they, they encourage, man, you're doing the show, Rodney. pop some Sam Adams, give them to your guests. We don't care. They're a big sponsor. <laughs> oh, my God, Rodney There's Dangerfield Rodney. and Fat Mindy. Fucking Rodney Dangerfield. He, we got him high in the stairwell. Yeah, yeah Stinky did, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He loved his pot. Shit. Unbelievable. All right. Doctor, oh, good Dr. Dirty back then. That's fucking January. That's exactly 10 years ago. Yeah, this is 10 years ago. Uh, Drinking and performing. Oh, my Holy God. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yo, Ope looks the most of you. Look, you look really like... It's, maybe it's your smile, but you kind of like have a... Uh, I look like a kid. You have a boyish grin. Hey. I, look, I look like a fucking kid in that picture. I, don't, I was no kid back then, even. Wow. All right. Wow. Why didn't we warn oh, everybody? Oh, it goes back to 2000. <laughs> oh, shit. Why didn't we warn everyone of 9-11? <laughs> we did not. Dude, like, just, look, we're looking dude. back on it now. We didn't know then. Oh. 99. <laughs> we, 99. Valentine's Day party. 99. 99. That was at that beer fucking works? Where was that? On Long Island. Wow. 99. You got Brother Joe on Earl. stage. Yep. Black Earl. That me, me in a horrible sweatshirt. What the wow. fuck was I thinking? Spike, remember her? Oh yeah. Who's Spike? And that other chick. Yeah. What's her name? The blonde. I forgot her name. Oh, Spike was lovely. Spike's dressed up in her you fucking weren't, dom. You weren't gear. around for Spike? I don't remember Spike. No. Oh, you would have loved Spike. Lynch. A, a young Stephen Lynch. Stephen Lynch. Ninety nine. Holy shit! Yeah. He doesn't look much different. Nah. Tara, that was her name. Tara was hot, but she had horrible tits. <laughs> yes. Remember? <laughs> <They> were... <laughs> she looked great dressed. She was hot as shit. Look, yeah. doesn't she look hot? Yeah. You take that bra off, Which she her did many flat times. jack fucking <laughs> yes. tits. They were flat and just stretched marked. And, All right. Well, she was a wreck. Hey, you can go to OA Photos on Twitter. <laughs> Some of these shots are up there. And I'll I'll, uh, I'll link this website for everybody on my Twitter, OP Radio. Yeah, that's a good one. Um... Black History Month. It's February 1st. Why don't we go to break with some black history? Go to the first Finally, one, it's Black History Month, by yeah, the way. We've been waiting Finally. all year for this, so yes. uh, take a listen to this. A little later this morning, Patrice O'Neill joins the program, Ooh. and Ryan uh, Keeley coming in to show off her new boobs. 
Oh. So we're still doing some oh, of the stuff. Oh, today? Yeah, he'll be nice. here in uh, 15, 20 <laughs> nice. days. But first, we take a look at Black History. <laughs> in honor of Black History Month, the OB Anthony Show proudly takes a look at some of the most inspiring and intellectually stimulating African Americans on Twitter. Today's tweet come from DDKLZ. Oh, DD Kills. <laughs> I'm scared. Who writes? When I was in jail, a big black monster came up on me and said, Dude, if you touch me, I'll hand you your dick. Well said, DD Kills. Stay tuned all month as we continue to celebrate the advancements of the African American culture here on the Open Anthony Show. Rob, 